Let's take a look at how you can make learning more accessible by using some of the built-in features on the iPad. To showcase this, I'm just going to use the Notes app, but useful to highlight here that a lot of these features I'm showing work across the device. They are built into the iPad as opposed to being app specific. And that's a key thing to take away from this video because it means that students can do this regardless of the apps that they're in. So the first thing to just quickly highlight is the ability to use dictation built into the device. You'll notice on the iPad screen at the moment, along the bottom next to the spacebar, there is an icon of a microphone. And simply by tapping on that microphone, you access the dictation tools. So now when you speak, your words will be turned into text on the screen. Full stop. New line. This includes the ability to change punctuation as well as think about sentence structure because you can have line breaks, etc. built in simply by just stating new paragraph. Having the ability to talk directly onto the page is great. What's equally important though is being able to speak back. If I select the text on the page, you'll notice that I have some additional options appear. Where you usually see cut, paste, copy, etc., I also have the option to have that text spoken. I can simply tap on speak and you'll notice that the text has a highlight bar running across that. And that text is being read back to me as well. Now this is an accessibility feature that you need to turn on on your devices. In order to do that, I'm just gonna to go to settings. I'm gonna make sure that I highlight the accessibility section on the device and I'm going to go to spoken content. You'll notice here that I've already highlighted speak selection and when I do that it provides me with highlight content as an additional tool where I can select either words, sentences or words and sentences and I can choose the word colour. An important thing if you're considering students that might have uh, colour blindness as an, as an issue. You can also change the voices of the text. In this case, it's reading back in English for me, and I can choose how I want to hear that, male or female, changing equally those different pronunciations, as well as thinking about different accents. And should students need to, they can also change the speaking rate. If they need it to speak a little bit faster to them, then great, you can change it but if you also need it to go a bit slower, you can change it back the other way too. Now, as I said, that exists on anything on the device where you can select the text, which means students accessing text on a document that you may have shared with them is equally as accessible as if they're searching on the internet, or if they just want to type out their own words and see how that sounds back to them. This is an important tool, not just for our youngest learners when they're starting to think about learning new te uh, text and vocabulary, for students that are English as an additional language, but also students that might be learning new vocabulary in subjects such as science, where the text might just be a little bit more complicated to read, but they may understand it when they hear those words. So there we go. Thinking about making learning accessible through dictation, and having speak selection switched on so students can hear back any text that they might be accessing.